becoming a pharmacist. I have to do this video because of the toy request from my viewers on how to become a pharmacist. I really don't know why you want to become a pharmacist, but if you think it will make you look, you know, tall, dark, and handsome like me, then I guess you are the right one. Welcome to the Health Show, and today we'll be discussing on how to become a pharmacist. Firstly, a pharmacist is a healthcare professional who is specially trained to store, handle, prepare, and dispense medication. In the hospitals, they are the ones that handle your prescription from the doctor. In the community pharmacy, they are the ones smiling sheepishly at the corner trying to assess if you can buy the expensive or the cheap brand of medicines. And the point is, these guys, they know the most about drugs. So, you see them working with your doctor and other specialists or providers to ensure that you are taking the correct medication and at the right doses. A pharmacist is needed anywhere a patient might need medication prepared or distributed. So they work in hospitals, rehabilitation center, addiction treatment center, and cardiac centers, industries, and even, and even in the universities to help train more pharmacists. Now, why the role of a pharmacist depends solely on where they work. A few of their roles are verifying dosage and medications prescribed by the healthcare providers, sale and distribution of drugs, especially controlled drugs. They also help in making new drugs, formulation, and dispensing all drug forms. They also help in educating patients about how and when to take or administer their prescription. Pharmacists also help in the prevention of substance abuse by controlling the availability of such drugs in hospitals and community pharmacies. They help in identifying and addressing drug therapy problems. Pharmacy play essential roles in educating the populace about medication and how to optimize their use. Now, the list is not exhaustive. Is endless. Now that you have an idea of who a pharmacist is and what they do, let's talk about the steps needed to become one. As of 2022, 23 Nigerian universities offer a pharmacy program. Now, some of them are the University of Benin, University of Lagos, Olabasi, and Nabajo University, OU, Ogun State University, Delta State University, among others. And you can find more comprehensive list online. First, you have to write work, get your five credits mathematics, English, chemistry, biology, and physics. After that, you are over jam and score at least 200. I hear that that is very difficult for people now. Now, the higher your jam score, the better your chances of getting admitted into pharmacy. Now, as soon as you pass your, your jam, you then write your post to ME. After post to ME, if you pass, you get admitted. Now, sometimes you don't get admitted after post to ME. Many factors play a role into getting admission after passing your post to ME. But that's a talk for another day. Normally, this video should end here, but it won't because I have to talk about how not to become a pharmacist. You cannot become a pharmacist by going to work in the pharmacy for a few years. You cannot become a pharmacist by learning how to give injection in the hospital. You cannot become a pharmacist by attending any other higher institution other than a university. It means that if you attend a college of education, a polytechnic, or a school of health like Black David, you are not a pharmacist. If any higher institution other than a university tells you that you are studying to be a pharmacist, you are not. The license you will be given will not cover you to practice pharmacy. At best, the license will be able to admit you as a member of Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria. Manage that. <laughs> now, you can enroll in university to acquire either a B farm, which is usually a rigorous five year program, or a farm D, which is usually which is also a six years program. University of Benin is one of the few schools that offer the farm D license. Now, I don't mean to scare you or make you uninterested in any way, but the truth is that the course is not for the weak. Now, you have to be focused, determined to make good grades. In pharmacy school, a lot of the courses has a pass mark from 60%, and that is a B. So, if you fail a handful of courses, you could probate, which means that you repeat a level. Now, if you happen to fail another handful of courses again, you will be made to leave the faculty, as they have deemed you fit unworthy to complete the course. So, start by passing your work, and then your jam, and then your post to me. Without this, there are no other ways to become a pharmacist. Now, it is only important for me to note that the degree is unclassified, which means that your degree will not be any CGP, but the school needs it to determine the best graduate student. Now, do not ask me who was the best graduate student because I wasn't. Now, after graduating, you can then go for a compulsory 12 months internship program, and then for your NYC, you need a certificate from the internship to do your NYC. Now, there are different types of pharmacists and places where a pharmacist can work. Now, this include community pharmacist, which is a pharmacist that mounts those retail and wholesale shops you buy drugs from. There's hospital pharmacists, the ones you see in the hospitals. There's a consulting pharmacist, the ones you meet anytime you have a problem. There's a production pharmacist, the ones that produce in the industry. And there's a lecturing pharmacist, the ones that help students to become pharmacists. Another point is that whenever you visit the pharmacy, the pharmacist is the one always dressed corporate and always different from that staff member of the pharmacy. So whenever you get a pharmacy to fill your prescription or make a health complaint, ensure to ask for the pharmacist. If you want to be a community pharmacist, I suggest you go through the right steps. 
get a B farm or a farm D degree and go for your internship of a minimum of 12 months in a well-developed community pharmacy of your choice. Remember, pharmacists are not well paid. Now, the estimated salary of a pharmacist in Nigeria is between 140,000 to 240,000 a month. Now, in areas like Abuja, the prices can, can vary from 126,000 to an average of 130,000 monthly. Now, in some areas, these prices may be lesser as they know the fixed salaries for pharmacists. For commodity pharmacists who own a pharmacy, it can be quite profitable for them. Sometimes they also make huge losses. Now, I hope you have learned. And next time, do not just call anyone you see in the pharmacy a pharmacist. See a pharmacy as a place where several workers, including cleaners, can work. Thank you for staying tuned. Remember to like and share this video to a friend who wants to be a pharmacist. Bye for now.